Why fuel? In order to understand the importance of fueling, firstly you need to know the difference between endogenous and exogenous carbohydrate. Endogenous carbohydrate refers to carbohydrate stored in the liver and muscles as glycogen. The human body can only store a maximum of 500 grams or 2000 calories of endogenous carbohydrate. Exogenous carbohydrate refers to carbohydrate taken on board during exercise in the form of energy drinks, gels, bars and chews. The following animations are used to explain how important the fueling process is in extending time to exhaustion and optimising performance. In every example, the athlete featured is physically working at their maximum sustainable intensity. This is called anaerobic threshold or FTP. In this first example, the athlete is not taking on board any fuel or exogenous carbohydrate. Notice how quickly the endogenous carbohydrate drains away. Once the endogenous fuel tank is empty, the athlete bonks or hits the wall. Without a source of carbohydrate to burn, metabolism grinds to a halt. In the second example, notice how 30 grams of carbohydrate per hour increases time to exhaustion. And notice how much slower the drain on the endogenous stores is whilst the body has an alternative exogenous fuel source to burn. The sparing effect to endogenous stores becomes more obvious when fueling with 60 grams of carbohydrate per hour. At 90 grams of exogenous carbohydrate consumption per hour, the human body is at its carbohydrate absorption threshold. Notice how the constant supply of exogenous carbohydrate has a profound effect on the rate at which endogenous carbohydrate is burned. Also notice how much longer the athlete can sustain high intensity exercise before exhaustion. It is very important to note that optimal fueling with 90 grams of exogenous carbohydrate per hour is only possible when all the fueling products used are formulated using 2 to 1 glucose derivatives to fructose. With glucose only formulations, only 60 grams of carbohydrate can be absorbed from the intestine into the blood because s 1 the carrier responsible for glucose absorption, cannot cope with any more. Fructose only formulations are even worse because GLUT5, the carrier responsible for fructose absorption, maxes out at 30 grams per hour. However, if glucose derivatives are combined with fructose in a 2 to 1 ratio, the combination of both s 1 and GLUT5 working together allows for 90 grams of carbohydrate absorption per hour. So, over a two hour race, what benefits does a well fueled athlete have over his or her non fueled counterpart? Notice in this final animation how the athlete consuming zero grams of carbohydrate per hour has reduced his or her intensity in order not to bonk or hit the wall before the two hour period is completed. On the other hand, notice how the athlete fueling with 90 grams of carbohydrate per hour can confidently push to the max without worrying about the dreaded bonk. Also notice how this athlete finishes with plenty of fuel left in the endogenous fuel tank so is in a much less depleted state. If you found this video informative, please take the time to watch our Torque Fueling System and Torque Recovery System videos.